Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were escorting our friend back to his own country so we can get the passport pass thing. Yes, I remember things about stuff. It's been ages. I also probably sound like shit more so than usual. Pretty sick at the moment. But hey, video's got to be recorded, am I right? I did think I had C-Virus, but I don't. Had my test done and all that shit. All clear. <clears throat> Although, considering how many people I work with, I'm pretty surprised that, I guess, so far, I've never had it. Um, right, come with me, my friend. Now, we do have some discoveries and whatnot to fill up with. Hello. Greetings. Welcome home. National Guard Fleet. We are the fleet that guards the Southern Daniel Strait. We will escort you from this point. Oh, that would be greatly appreciated. Lead the way. Fair dues, bro. Now, make with the deal. Thank you very much. It would appear that you have safely brought me home. As I promised, here is the value and passport. Thanks, pal. Alright, so this is what the passport looks like. Yeah, don't lose it. We can finally get to value her with this. Excellent. I must get going. May the red moon watch over you and light your path. Thank you very much, dude. You're one of the good ones. But before we start our great and perilous journey... Off to Valua. Let's not waste any more time. Aye aye. Little Jack. Full rudder. Turning 180 degrees. To Valua. Full speed ahead. Excellent. I guess we can't quite go explore that area just yet. But that's fine. In fact, this might be automatic. You received Valua and Passport. Good, I guess. Right, okay, so we're in the Daniel Strait. Let's go back the way we came, though. Now, I um, don't think there's anything around here. Apart from bad guys, of course. Now, let's take these guys out. Try and get these guys done as quick as possible. Missed Drachma, really? Come on, dude. Nice. Hit him again, Sam. Not that we have anyone here called Sam, but still. Leave me have my fun, damn it. Now, I wish you could speed up battles. Kind of like how you could with uh, Final Fantasy VII Remaster. Which was really good, actually. That was how you remaster a game. Come on, kill the score flies. Make them dead. Now, apparently, uh, it's come to my attention that you can actually miss out on the discoveries. Oh, he tried to run away. Ah, too bad. So sad. Um. <laughs> serves him right. It does, Dracula. I agree. And that destroyed my throat. That's what she said. Right, let's go. So there's no goodies around here. Now, where was... our friendly little island? Uh, looks like we've got some puffer fish dudes. What are these? Thornkin. Alright. I'll experiment with cutting out the battles. You guys will have to let me know if it's worth it. Right, let's keep going. Ah, really? <laughs> Alright, yeah, if I don't cut these battles out, like, some of the videos are just going to be nothing but battles. Oh, we've got a Thorkrin scale. Have a little look at that bad boy, shall we? 
Right, we need to go back to Sailor's Island. That's it. Alright, let's have a look at this Thornkin scale, whatever the hell that is. Some kind of ring, apparently. Items. Right, Thorkin scale. Uh, a weapon modification made from a Thorkin. Raises attack power. Okay. Interesting. So. We've got that, uh, yeah, the Morocco shell. Let's. That's going to put our defense down. Um, by actually quite a lot, but, but it puts our attack up hugely. And I'm someone who always favors attack over defense. So let's go with that. All right. All right let's keep going back to Sailor's Island for now. There it is. Now, as I said, ooh, actually. Yeah, this is one of the discoveries that we need. The Guide Stones. Excellent. So, actually, that was the next discovery on the old list as well. Interesting. So, we can wipe that one off. Now, we're not going to go back to Sailor's Island just yet. So, the Guide Stones. To the north, the Imperial City Valia. Caution, low visibility. To the east, the City of Sand. Nasrad. Caution, strong currents. To the west, Sailor's Island. Caution, too much logwa. Okay. Now, there's another one. Now, uh, if we... Uh, see, I don't think this particular one we can actually get. So, Shrine Island. Really? Shrine Island's all the way over there? That's like miles away, man. Alright, well, let's go back to Shrine Island. It was fun. All like two minutes of it. Wasting my time. Still XP is XP, yo. Alright, let's keep going. So apparently, I've been looking up... Um, there's a lot of bugs in this game that weren't on the Dreamcast uh, original. Mainly due to how the um, architecture is very different. Um, apparently the sound is not emulated properly and there's loads of like strange graphical bugs as well. Uh, I haven't noticed any of those, but apparently, according to the purists, there's quite a lot wrong with this version of the game. Right. But, you know, that's fanboys for you, I guess. Hey, Ika, welcome to level 9. Alright, so what's going on over here? Hey, dude. If you head due north from here, you'll run into Valmior. Be careful. They won't let you in without a volume passport. And forget about sneaking in. There are patrols all over the place. Yeah, uh, we know. Apparently, we've overshot where we need to go. We need to head this way. But we can't, can we? No. I didn't think so. We can't get past that just yet. Which is kind of annoying. And Ika learns another skill. Hooray! Okay. So how do we get back to Shrine Island? Ah, oh, right. We need to go through there, don't we? I think. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Right, I'll meet you guys when I get to Rhine Island. Well, I could just learn Weevil. I could just learn Ingram. Damn, she's going up through the uh, ranks of magic, it would seem. Okay, so apparently we can't get any of that stuff just yet, which kind of sucks. But we can go on to Valua. Yeah, we need another item before we can get those, so... Let's just continue with our objective. Valium patrol ship. Beyond this point is the Valium Empire. Show me your entry passport. Passport? I've got one right here. Take your time looking over it. Hmm. Very well. You may proceed. Excellent. 
Looks like we made it through. We just passed the volume and security checkpoint. That's quite an accomplishment, don't you think? Yeah. I thought getting into Volio would be a lot tougher. Now all we have to do is sneak into... Uh-oh. Huh? What's that? It's the only entrance into the city of Volula, the Grand Fortress. Oh my. Volula is surrounded by impassable mountains, so that is the only way in or out. Wow, I can't believe they actually built something that big. During the Volua Nassau War, over a hundred Nassau warships bombed this fortress for days. However, all the shells were repelled by these walls. The fortress may be the strongest structure of the new world. Oof. So Nassar holds a, its own, apparently. Look, it's moving. Ooh. That's a lot of guns. That is a lot of guns. I guess now's our time. The door for the fortress own opens only once a day to allow ships to pass through. The back side of that wall is completely lined with cannons. It was those cannons that nearly wiped out the entire Nassar fleet. Defense and offense all in one. It's an invincible fortress. That's where they're holding Captain Dine and Fina. No prisoner has ever escaped from that fortress. Although, I've heard that there is one way out. Really? Then it's possible. Yeah, after they execute prisoners, their corpses are thrown off the island. Ha! <laughs> nice. That's just great. What are we going to do now? Yeah, no one's ever escaped because I've never tried. I love a challenge. Let's go. Don't worry, I'll rescue our friends and escape from that fortress. Just watch me. Well, Godspeed. Godspeed. That's all I can say. Well, there's always got to be a first. We're in now. No going back. That is some piece. It's going to be a tough nut to crack, that. Lord Gal Galician, your admirals have assembled as you have commanded. Excellent. Quite the crew. Admirals of the Volu and Armada, let me first offer my gratitude to each of you for assembling such on such short notice. Let it be known that we have successfully captured a citizen of the Silver Civilization. As Empress uh, Theodora requested. What? How? So, we finally captured one. Who accomplished this? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I was the one to find her first. I crippled her ship and captured her, but I was betrayed by my own vice captain and she was taken from me. Hmm. I'm sure Empress. Uh, Theodora is very pleased that she was recovered. Now, if we can persuade her to give us all the information we need, it will be worth all the effort we spent tracking her down. You said the citizen of the Silver Civilization that you found was a woman? Now that's something worth getting excited over. Oh god. Yeah, of course, he is the um, Chad of the Admirals. <laughs> How old is she? Is she good looking? Does she wear leather? I like my women wild and crazy. Jesus, boy, settle down. 
You're out of luck, Vigoro. The girl is the exact opposite. She's very shy and demure. Her name is Fina. She is currently being escorted to see Empress Theodora, um, Theodora in the Imperial Palace. <laughs> very good, Admiral Belza. That was it. Belizia. I see that you are our espionage expert for good reasons. Of course, being the head of the weapon development, I have a deeply invested interest in the technology of the Silver Civilization. <laughs> I will head back to the Imperial Palace and await Empress uh, Theodora's orders to commence the search for the Moon Crystals. Fina, our new ally, shall aid us in gathering all six of the crystals from around the world. As for you, Alfonso, you lied in your report. And as punishment, you are now relieved of your position as commander of the Mid-Ocean Fleet. And for an indefinite period of time, you shall be confined to Ixitaka. Huh? You, you think that I lied in my report, sire? <laughs> what, are, what are you talking about? You were attacked by the air pirates, and you deserted your crew and your ship to save yourself. Your ship and your crew were released by the air pirates and returned recently. They filed a full and accurate report. Bah! Our armada is invincible. Showing any sign of weakness is unforgivable. I trust that you shall not forget that. This meeting is over. I want all of you to be ready to depart at a moment's notice. Yes, Lord Glacian. Was it Glacian? I'm not sure. So, here we are. Deep in the heart of enemy territory. Doesn't get much deeper than this. So, this is the capital of Valua, huh? It's impressive. It, it's beautiful, but the skies are so gloomy. Valua is a beautiful city, but because of the fierce thunderstorms caused by the yellow moon, the city is shrouded in eternal darkness. That is the Imperial Palace straight ahead of us. The area on the left shore is called Upper City. <laughs> Upper City? The people of Valula, Valula are either very rich or very poor, and they detest each other. Only the richest people in Valula can live in Upper City. The less fortunate are confined to Lower City. It's on the right shore. It doesn't seem right to force them to live in poverty like that. Hey, Captain, where should we land? In Lower City, there is a dock that repairs and remodels ships. Aye, aye. aye, aye. I'll bring her into the Lower City port. Sounds a little bit like Midgard, doesn't it? Now, there's some things that we can miss here, which we don't want to miss. Wow. Hmm, Lower City looks worse up close. Everything is so dirty and run down. And it smells like garbage. We still need to check the place out. We need to find a way to save Dad and the others. Captain, what do you think we should do? Mm. I'm returned to the docks. I'll be overseeing the installation of the harpoon cannon. Uh -huh. Okay, let's split up. Ika and I will check out the city whilst you get your cannon. When we're done, let's meet back at the inn. Mm. Sure, I'll see you two later then. All right, Captain. So, where is my information on this area? Let's go save the game first. I'll uh, we'll go for slot A. Um, how many slots can we have? Seven. So we've got 14 total. I can't just put a new memory card in the Wii U, you see. Okay, so we're in the lower city port. Now, there is stuff that we can miss here. Because this is one of the few places that once we leave, we cannot return to. So. Weird jump cut, guys. Uh, so this video just completely took a shit on me. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to have to start this bit again. Anyway, we finally made it to Valua. Valua, or however the fuck you want to say that bullshit. Anyway. Oh, hello. Hey, Pooch. 
We have a stray huskra. Okay. And a man here, lower city valued. Sigh. Those rich nobles, they're so lucky that they get to live in upper city on the other shore. They get to eat good food, wear nice clothes, live in big houses. Sigh. Why did I have to be born in this awful place? Well, at least you're not dead. I mean, any life is better than no life, right? Yeah, may maybe not, buddy. Okay, so here we are in the enemy territory. Let's have a little look upstairs, shall we? Now, this doesn't look like much now, but let me tell you, back in the Dreamcast heyday, this looked pretty fucking spectacular, actually. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Well, this place looks shit. What have we got here? Yeah, this place is moldy. Is this the boiler? The meter keeps vibrating too much. Doesn't look very accurate. It's an electric stove. Looks a lot simpler than a fireplace, but there's grease all over it. So what are you saying? This place is dirty and decrepit. Yeah, I guess we could have worked that out. It smells old and moldy. They probably haven't cleaned it in a while. Yeah, maybe, maybe we won't be staying here. Having said that, they could probably use the money. Let's be honest. Uh, we'll see how we go. Oh, it looks like we've got some more places up here. What's in this house? Oh, hey friends. Oh, this looks this looks like the shop. Okay, we didn't get this far before this video took a crap. Smells old and dirt. Smells like old, dirty water. Looks like it hasn't been emptied out in a while. Yeah, lovely. Hey, dude. Well, you're an ugly bastard. Hey, you're a weapons merchant. Welcome to my store. This is the weapons and armor shop. Yes. Um, there's stuff here that we can potentially miss out on. So, buy and sell weapons. Well, let's have a chat first. A lot of our wares are handed down from the Volume and Amada, but I guarantee their quality. All right. Well, let's. Oh, we do not have a lot of money, do we? Um. Well, we can get the Volarang, which uh, we can miss this if we don't buy this. Uh, that gives her plus sixteen to attack. That's good. That's. Definitely worth the investment. Um, there you go, Ica. That is quite a big boost. Uh, also, this armor as well. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. Should we get two of those? I think we should get two of those. S Ah, oh, so Drachma. Right, so it's only Vase and Drachma. It's not a huge bonus to Drachma. In fact, it's only marginal. So we'll get one for Vase. Just because. There we go. That is a decent upgrade for him. Now let's sell. Why do we have... Oh, right, we need to equip it, don't we? Pretty sure we did equip it, though. Alright, cheers buddy. Another shit eating grin from this titan of a man. Uh did we not equip uh equipment? So we've got the sky cutlass. Value Ah oh right, no, no no no, okay, we had the uniform. Now we've got the armor. Got ya. I see. I see, I see. Okay. So, let's see what else you have here. So, Lover's Ring, this is rare. You can't just get this anywhere. Now, Ica's going to lose a lot of defense, but she'll. Ooh. Mage's Bane. A helm that increases the wearer's attack, defense, will, and magic defense. So, Drachma loses a, little, a tiny bit of attack, but he gets. Small bonuses and everything else. Uh, I mean, Ica's going to lose a little bit of defense, but 
Hmm. Nah, I think we'll wait. It's not super important. So, those things we can miss. But we're gonna... That's all we need from here, anyway. Now, hello! You are the item merchant, I guess. See what you have. We definitely could... Yeah, we've got plenty of those. 500 XP, magic droplets. Yeah, we're good for items. Okay, cool. Leave. And I'm guessing there's another shop that should be here, but it's not here yet. Well, we'll sort that out. Okay, cool. So what else have we got going on here? Oh, right. That just leads us into the other side of the shop. I mean, of course it does. Where else would it lead us? You stupid human. Uh, of course, I'm not telling you, your stupid dear viewer. I'm referencing myself. Now, what's up here? That just leads... Okay. This is a very strangely laid out area. Um, and we really should be grinding for cash at some point. Excuse me, but have you seen my husband? He shouldn't have... He should have been home by now. I wonder where he's wandered off to now. I hope he's okay. I told him not to stray out too long after dark. Yeah, well. That's what happens when you go telling people to do stuff. Generally, they do the opposite. What have we got going on in here? There's a picture of a handsome young man. Maybe he's her husband. Looks like there's a hint of sadness in his eyes. Well, even though life is hard, really hard, there aren't many pleasant ah, and there aren't many pleasantries. I never want to forget how to smile. If you if you forget how to smile, you'll never have anything to look forward to again. Yeah, wise words or something. Yeah, this music has a hint of sadness too. Right. It's an old mop, but the floors are clean in comparison to the rest of the city. So I guess it's being used pretty often. Well, I hope her husband's okay. Now, so we've got a husband to find, apparently. Now, what is all this nonsense here? The drum is all rusted, and the edges are jagged. Probably shouldn't touch it. Yeah, you don't want to get tetanus. Ah. You received Sacri's crystals times two. Lovely. So that was in that grate behind us. Okay, so that's another chest that we can mark off our list, because that chest, being here, we can miss it. Right, <clears throat> okay, so, there's still one more chest to find down here, but it's not in this area. Let's keep going anyway. Young boy, hmm, who are you? Ah, yes, this chap. You guys look like sailors, stupid ones at that. Why else would you come all the way to see a dump like Lower City? Picking his nose, lovely. Well, well, aren't we a little obnoxious? <laughs> kind of reminds me of a particular someone when they were little. Hey, I wasn't that it's annoying when I was little. Give me some credit here. What did you say? You trying to start a fight with me? The name is Marco. Everybody who's anybody in this town knows who I am. Ah, for such a short kid, you sure know how to talk big. Sorry, boy, but we don't have time to play with little kids right now. What did you say? I'll remember this, fools. Yeah, piss off, kid. Nobody gives a shit about you. Just stand there and pick your nose. Alright, so... You'll regret having made me angry. I remember this. Yeah, cool story. So we... Oh, no. That's a lift that we can go downstairs with, but we don't we don't want to go through the lift yet. Check this house out first. Oh, God. This place looks fun. You right there? You good? Day after day, all I ever do is build value in battleships until I can hardly stand. I don't feel like doing anything anymore. Why can't I live like people in Upper City? They get to play every day. It's just not fair. No. It doesn't sound fair. I'm tired. Just leave me alone. Well, don't worry. 
I'm sure changes are coming. That mop has a disgusting colour to it. Somebody must have cleaned up a spill and didn't bother to wash the mop off. Yeah, it happens more often than you think. Yeah, right, buddy. Did you hear? Tomorrow morning, there's going to be an execution at the Colosseum. Oh. I heard they'll be executing some air pirates that the Armada captured. What? Is that true? Yeah, there was a soldier in here earlier telling everyone about it. Yeah, It's been a while since we've had an interesting show. They make executions into shows? This place is horrible. Base, we have no time to waste. Yeah, uh... I mean, to be fair, what else would you do with executions? I say show them off. Maybe even sell tickets. Why not? A nice way of knowing that you've actually dispensed with the criminal scum. Anyway, I'm going to go back up here and save it because we are at the end of this video now. It's going to be chop suey by the time I'm finished with it, but them's the breaks. This game's probably going to have a lot of cuts and things in it. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think of me cutting out the battles. Because, you know, I'm happy to cut battles out. Obviously, leave, you know, important ones in. But um, sometimes... There ain't going to be a lot of action happening if we're watching battles all the time. I mean, I don't care either way. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, it just means if I cut the battles out, some videos will have more actual you know, content in them. But, hey, that's up to you. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.